All right, so the next thing we're going to talk about is a little complicated, and it's this page break button. Another thing that I didn't really explain in the earlier videos is this question mark right here. If you have this clicked or on, you can turn it off by hitting the X button, but if you have it on, when you mouse over a node, it will kind of give you a small piece of, or, you know, an explanation for why it exists. So this page break as the game or as the engine itself explains it can be used it can also be used to remove image buttons so a page break is a way to sort of clean out your page sort of it doesn't work for everything i can absolutely contest that it does not work for removing text in from this which we will get to later however it will remove these image buttons if you give it enough time i'm going to talk about this briefly because i i messed around with it and found that there was a slight issue if you are going to use a page break in order to get rid of an image button you want to have a wait here if you know what i'm talking about great if you don't we'll get to it later however uh this is the if you don't have this wait here for at least i you know a, a thousand seconds is kind of, milliseconds excuse me a thousand milliseconds is pretty much good for you but uh, without this here it will kind of freeze up on your text. So in this specific instance, it will freeze up on the next node. So if I have this image button appearing and I don't have a sort of pause in between the image button appearing and the next thing, it will kind of freak out. It'll skip the page break and then it'll get stuck on the next line of text because it's gone too fast. It's, it's read too many things. It's, it's getting jammed. So you always want to make sure that you kind of follow your image buttons with a wait or... Um, because yeah, there's nothing here that really sets up uh, a way for it to have a weight. Now, now that I've gone over that really odd sort of thing, um, the other thing that page breaks do that I kind of talked about a little bit is it will actually clean out. So here you can see a weight click and page break, a page, a page break, excuse me, will clean out your your text, it will clean out images on the screen, it will clean out pretty much anything on the screen save for a few exceptions. And that, that's going to make more sense as we go, but it's most useful at the beginning of a scene. So here we can see a page break is set up to clean out anything that may have come from before this scene in order to start anew. This doesn't involve background images, which you have to set up sort of manually. Um, it doesn't involve text from this, and I'm not 100% positive if it affects uh, videos, but that is essentially what your page break node does.